Surprise, surprise, the Democrats lied. All right, mate, it's Madigan, January 6th. The deadly insurrection, worse than 9-11, worse than the Civil War by the evil MAGA Republicans, orchestrated by the fascist Donald Trump. Except it wasn't. That's a total fabrication made up by the Democratic Party and their propagandist wing in the corporate media. How do I know this? Well, for the last couple of years... There have been people held, without charge, mind you, for the events that occurred on January 6th. Finally, the Republican Party grew some sort of a spine, and when they took back the House, they demanded all the footage from January 6th be handed over. Because, for some reason, the Democrats did not want that footage handed over so the general public can go through it. Because they had a narrative to push that the evil fascist Donald Trump tried to overturn an election. He tried to become a dictator. There were somewhat 44,000 hours worth of footage. Now, how could there be 44,000 hours? That's because there were cameras everywhere around the Capitol building on the day. Well, now the public has access to this footage. And one journalist has been given access, exclusive access to it, all 44,000 hours, and that is Tucker Carlson. Yeah, and I can hear you already. Oh, Fox News, they're right-wing propaganda. I want you to forget the fact that it's actually Tucker Carlson, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to go look through the footage that was released by him today. And I'm going to mute his commentary. I will be commentating over what I see. So that means you should be able to throw away any sort of bias that you might have. Because what has come to light is basically an innocent man has been in solitary confinement for the better part of two years and he was sentenced to the better part of four years after he was escorted into the building by the capitalist uh, by the capital police not the capitalist police and shown around the building so to me it seems like a, a open shut case that this man is innocent because What was happening here is a case of entrapment. But because the Democrats are, hmm, sinister and evil, they wanted to push this narrative that the MAGA Republicans, you remember how you hear that all the time now from them? The MAGA Republicans and the deadly insurrectionists. They tried to uh, destroy our democracy. It's absolute bollocks. This was all orchestrated every single part of it. So let's go have a look. So what was released today, and I've got this off Benny Johnson's Twitter, he should follow him too, by the way, uh, is the footage of the kooky and crazy guy that they called the Q Shaman. You remember the guy with the, uh, with the bullhorn hat, uh, you know, the, his face painted the American colours. You, you saw him all over the news uh, a couple of days after January 6th because he was touted as the leader of, uh, of the Q conspiracy theorists and all that sort of stuff. The guy's just a, cr- a, a kooky nut job. So here we see, just a few seconds before, that he's outside the Capitol and then he's let in. And he's wandering around. There's a police officer. There's another police officer. There goes another police officer. Here he is just wandering on his own. And there is two, one, two police officers just wandering with him. Why would they just allow him to wander freely through these empty halls like this? Where are they leading him to? Okay, so we'll walk up to this door. This cop tries to open it for him. Oh, sorry about that, mate. It's closed. No, come with us. We'll show you another way. This guy checks, see what's going on. And look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cops. All just standing there looking at him. Ha, ha, ha. Look at the Q shaman guy with his crazy bullhorn hat with no shirt on. This way, sir. In you go. Thank you, Mr. Police Officer. And there we're in the main part where you've seen all the footage from him, in the main sort of uh, Congress area. I don't know what you would call it. Uh, And now he starts banging on. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for taking the inspiration needed to those police officers to allow us into the building. 
So this guy should just immediately be set free. The Q Shaman guy should be immediately exonerated and set free because the Capitol Police allowed him into the building. He did not force his way in there when there was uh, two cops escorting him the entire way. And at one point, there were about 10 cops just sitting there looking at him. He doesn't seem like much of a threat, does he? So what's this all about? Well, I, I have my own personal opinion about that. And my personal opinion about that is the Democrats, because they're evil, saw this as the perfect opportunity to use fear to control the public into giving them more power and creating the us versus them mentality, the evil MAGA Republicans. You know what this is like, what we just witnessed there? This would be like that if a car yard had a big force, you know, big car yard sale sign and big balloons and, and the silly little dancing men. And a guy walks in and he's looking around at the cars and the manager of the car yard walks up to him, hands him a set of keys and goes, there you go, sir, take it. And he's like, what? And he's like, yeah, 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 just, just take it, take the car. And the guy goes, all right, and drives off. And then they call the cops on him and say he stole the car. That's what's happened with this Q Shaman guy. And this is all, all in the pursuit of political power. The Democrats have lied about January 6th pretty much since day one. They still say it was deadly and that a police officer, I think his name was Brian Sitnik, uh, was killed on January 6th. A total lie. A complete lie. There's footage of him walking around the building, totally fine. What happened was a couple of days later, he went home and the dude had a stroke. Now you could argue that the stroke was brought on by stress. I can understand that, but it's not a direct result of what happened and it definitely wasn't deadly. The only person who was killed on January 16th was Ashley Babbitt, a Trump supporter. Now, she was trying to crawl her way through a broken window and she was shot in the neck because of that, that doesn't mean she deserved to die by any means whatsoever. But the only person who died on January 6th was Ashley Babbitt. So why were the cops actively walking and escorting this guy around the building, opening doors for him? What were their orders? Who gave them what orders on the day? Now, I know detractors will sit there and say, well, Trump was in charge, Trump was in charge, he must have allowed them in. Well, at the time that, uh, that the police started opening, and you can go and find this footage as well, the cops openly, op openly opening up the doors and fanning people in. Come on in, come on in. Trump requested more police for the Capitol that day, and he was denied. Why was he denied? Because... Like I just said, the Democrats saw this as the perfect opportunity. They knew that there was going to be a demonstration and they all plotted it and said, what we need to do is allow them into the building and then therefore we can say an insurrection happened and we can use that as part of uh, our message for the next couple of years. The evil MAGA Republicans. They tried to overthrow democracy. They want to destroy this country. That's been their message ever since January 6th. Every single one of them, and including the propagandists in the corporate media, all those dirty, dirty smear merchants, they've all been saying the same thing. But have you seen anyone other than Tucker Carlson, other than Benny Johnson, and a few of the uh, independent journalists say anything about this footage? The fact that Democrats actively denied this footage to be released, which therefore ended up with an innocent man in jail. They withheld evidence that resulted in an innocent man going to jail. The worst that you could possibly charge that silly Q shaman guy with is trespassing. But at any moment, I could fly to the United States, go to Washington, D.C., and I can walk into that building at any moment. But when the riot happened, they locked the doors, but then suddenly they opened the doors. And there's also footage of cops that's also been released 
through this uh, 44,000 hours of footage. There's cops sitting there scr- uh, saying to each other, they set us up, man. They set us up. They set us up. Who is they? <laughs> oh God, I sounded like Kanye there for a second. I wonder who he's talking about when he says they set us up. And there's still the question about Ray Epps. The guy seen running around telling everyone, we're going to go inside, we're going to go inside, we're going to go inside. And the FBI denies, oh, sorry, they will not deny that he was part of their informant team. How did the cops know specifically to pick out that Q Shaman guy? How did, I, I'm sure of it. I'm almost positive because it's been shown that the FBI have been uh, infiltrating all sorts of groups. They set up a... Um, they ba- There was a plot to kidnap uh, a governor, Gretchen Whitmore, I think her name was, and basically it came out that it was a whole bunch of... There was initially just two guys talking with each other, and then a whole bunch of FBI uh, informants and operatives came in and set the whole thing up, got the wheels in motion, and then they arrested the other two guys. So I've got no doubts that the FBI had operatives and informants within this Q Shaman's group. And then they knew, it's like, all right, this guy is perfect. Look at him. He's got the silly hat and he's got the face paint. He's got his shirt off and he's got the American flag. Let him into the building. That will give us the footage that we need. And the reason I know this is because they've used the Q Shaman on every piece of corporate media to try and sell you the fact that January 6th, was the worst day in American history, worse than 9-11. Imagine being that evil to say that, that January 6th was worse than 9-11. Like, this is, this is just sinister, evil stuff. How much more evidence is it going to take? I'm now feeling like a broken record here, but how much more ev- evidence is going to take? Meanwhile, they turn their backs on actual violent... Um, groups just today or was just yesterday a group of antifa terrorists firebombed and destroyed a new facility that was supposed to be built to train cops they shot a police officer and do you hear anything about it from the corporate media no you don't no because there is a certain narrative to push that narrative is that Donald Trump's a fascist. That his supporters are evil. The mega Republicans. You saw Joe Biden in front of that uh, when he did that speech with all the red, with the red lighting behind him, and he's shaking his fist, going, "The mega Republicans, man, bah, 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 bah. my brain don't work." I mean, to me, it's plain as day that the Democrats are just pure evil. But hey, what else would you expect from a party that was pro-slavery? A leopard doesn't change its spots. It might wear a cheetah skin suit, but deep down underneath, still leopard. The Democrats still need their slaves. They just don't care the colour of the skin anymore. It's obvious. This is pure evil. And yet everyone will sit there and they'll play it off because Trump derangement syndrome has destroyed their brain so much. It is a cult. Whoever's in charge of this, the January 6th committee, Adam Kinzinger and Liz Cheney, those were the two. And the whoever else was on that January 6th committee, they should be arrested and tried, trialed, tried, I don't know which way you say it, for putting an innocent man, for withholding information that would have led to the release of an innocent man. This is utterly disgraceful. But keep making excuses for the Democrats. Oh, because they're so progressive. And we, we're a progressive society. Keep making excuses for evil and then just wait for it to turn on you because it always does. 
Oh, wait, mate, it's Madigan. Uh, thanks for... Uh, oh, wait, mate, it's Madigan. Yes, you know who it is. That's my name right above me. You can find me by searching at the Brian Madigan. I'm on all those platforms right there. There are audio-only versions of these uh, episodes too on Spotify and Apple or wherever you get your podcasts. I would love it if you would leave a like on this video. Leave, Throw in a comment as well. Tell me where I'm wrong. I'd, I'd love to... I, please, you know, maybe I'm the one with the blinders on, so please leave me a comment. Hopefully, as well, I might earn your subscription with this video. I do hope so. Are we done? Yeah, we're done.